Wow! <laughs> you are so immature. Come on, Mia, lighten up. You got to admit that shadow scared you. Who wouldn't be scared by a giant hulking creature with huge claws? This itty bitty thing. It is kind of cool how you made its shadow look so big. Yeah, it's because of the way light works. When light shines, its waves travel in a straight path. Waves? I don't see any waves. Light is made up of waves, but we don't see the waves. We just see, well, the light. Okay, so the light we see travels in a straight path. Until it hits something. When a beam of light hits something it can't pass through, a shadow forms where the light is blocked. So when you held that thing in front of the flashlight, it blocked the beam. Right. And the light that wasn't blocked kept traveling until it hit the wall. Look, the shadow's bigger when the creature's closer to the flashlight. Of course, it's blocking more of the light. Light's used for a lot more than just playing tricks. Light is actually a form of energy. Really? Yup, we couldn't live without light, especially from the sun. Light gives us energy and keeps us warm. And plants need it to grow. So check it out. Most light sources, like the sun and light bulbs, give off white light. That goes for flashlights too, right? Yup, but inside that shining white beam, there are lots of colors, each with different wavelengths. How come we can't see them? We can, but we need a prism to do it. Sweet! The prism breaks up the light into seven colors called the light spectrum. Looks like a rainbow to me. Exactly. Raindrops can work like prisms. When you see a rainbow, it's because lots of raindrops are spreading the spectrum of colors across the sky. So how come when light shines on things, it doesn't make them look rainbow colored? I mean, leaves are green, flowers are pink and yellow, and my hair is blue. <laughs> Can't deny that. Okay, here's what happens. When light hits something, like a leaf, special chemicals called pigments absorb some colors and reflect others. The colors we see are the ones that are reflected. Wait, you're saying that a green leaf absorbs every color except green? Weird, isn't it? And even weirder, objects that absorb all colors look black, and ones that reflect all colors look white. Bizarre! You want to hear bizarre? Visible light, the light we see, is only part of the whole range of light waves that make up the electromagnetic spectrum. Does that mean there are different kinds of light? Yup, different wavelengths, actually beaming down from the sun and other sources too. Some, like x-rays and ultraviolet light, are shorter than visible light waves. Ultraviolet light? Isn't that what causes sunburns? Right, also known as UV. Other light, like radio waves and microwaves, are longer. Come on, there are light waves in my microwave oven? High frequency ones. When they hit your food, they make the molecules inside bounce around and heat up. That's how the food cooks. Pretty crazy, this light stuff. I mean, it travels in waves. There are visible ones, invisible ones, sun scorchers, even food fryers. And they all make up the electromagnetic spectrum. Then there's the color spectrum inside of that. I always thought light was white. How cool that you can use a prism to separate the waves into all seven colors of the rainbow, and an object's color is determined by which light waves it absorbs and which it reflects. How weird! Totally. But that's nature for you. Well, not even nature can explain why you'd wear a puke green shirt like that. Hey, it reflects my colorful personality. <laughs>